Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at installing the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on a 2022 Acura MDX. Now this is what our trailer hitch receiver looks like when it's installed on the MDX and the great part about this is it's a hidden cross tube meaning the only part that's going to be hanging down is the receiver tube opening and the rest of the hitch is actually hidden behind the bumper so you're going to retain a nice OEM look but still have the ability to use your hitch when you need it. Taking a closer look, we're gonna see a nice black powder coat finish. So over time, it's gonna resist rust and corrosion and look really good even with road grime over the years. Now you'll see this is a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, and that's gonna be a great size for a bunch of different accessories, whether it be a ball mount, cargo carrier, bike rack, or whatever life throws at you, the two inch by two inch is a great one to have. Now you are gonna have a 5 8 hitch pin hole, and that's gonna allow you to keep those accessories in place. Now the hitch doesn't actually come with the pin and clip, but a lot of your accessories when you buy them will come with that. Uh, if you want a locking one, there's actually a few of them available here at eTrailer, and that way when you load your accessories up, you can lock that in place and know that they're not gonna disappear in the hands of someone else. And if you do plan on towing, you're gonna see you have a rolled style safety chain loop here. It's gonna be great for your standard size hooks, as well as even your large clevis style is no problem. Now, speaking of towing, you'll be happy to find out that this hitch actually has a pretty high weight rating for the MDX. Now, your gross trailer weight is going to be 6,000 pounds, and that's going to be the weight of the trailer plus the accessories loaded up. You're also going to get a 900-pound tongue weight rating, which is the downward pressure on the receiver tube opening. So that's going to be some of your suspended accessories. So you really don't run the risk of really overloading it with those. Now, you can use this with weight distribution, and it bumps those numbers, or at least the gross trailer weight, up quite a bit. You can actually have 8,000 pounds, and that's going to be a decent amount. Now, the tongue weight rating is going to stay the same at 900. Uh, but before you actually hook up until you're going to want to check the vehicle's owner's manual to make sure that you're not overdoing it on the vehicle. So compare the vehicle's towing capacity with the hitch. Take the lower of those two numbers. That way you stay safe while towing. Now taking a few quick measurements from the center of the hitch pin hole to the furthest point of the rear fascia. We're looking at about three inches. You can see this is about flush with the fascia and that's gonna be important for some of your folding accessories when they're in that stowed position. You don't wanna make contact with the rear fascia, but seeing this uh, being flush with the rear fascia should be okay, but something you wanna double check when looking at different accessories. Now we're gonna check our ground clearance here. So from the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground, we're looking right at about 14 inches. So that's gonna be pretty good. I don't worry about the hitch making contact, but if you do have those suspended accessories, as you kind of go up an incline, those will dip down and they can make contact with the ground if the in incline is big enough or if you're on rocky terrain or anything like that. So something to keep in mind when you have those loaded up. Now, as far as the installation goes, this one is pretty easy to do. Really, all you need is a 22 millimeter socket as well as a torque wrench. The rest of it is just lowering down the spare tire and then using the factory weld nuts to get that hitch up in place. So let's head into the shop and I'm gonna walk you through how to get your hitch installed. For this installation, we're gonna need to lower the spare tire. And to do that on this vehicle, we're gonna open up our hatch first. And then this little storage compartment right back here, you're gonna peel this back, open this up, and you're gonna see this little cap here. It says spare tire and a little pry spot here. So once you kind of pry this open with your flathead, it's going to reveal a rubber plug here, and we're gonna just peel this back. You can use that flathead if you like. And peeling this back is going to reveal our little square here. So to get this to lower down, we're gonna be actually using our spare tire tools. And there's gonna be a little compartment that's tucked right here. There we are. So vertical drops that open and we're going to be grabbing our spare tire wrench here. As you'll see, this is going to correspond with this. So once we have that, we can just go ahead and we'll just turn this counterclockwise and your tire should start dropping down. Now underneath the vehicle with the spare tire out of the way, we're going to see that there's going to be three weld nuts here. You can actually see the threads there and there's going to be three on each side and that's where our hitch is actually going to live and we're going to be bolting that up. Now depending on where you live, the environment that the vehicle has been in, a lot of times road grime can kind of build up in these and cause rust, which makes it tough for that hardware to get in. So if that's the case with your vehicle, 
a little tube brush here. We have these available here at E-Trailer and just a little penetrating oil goes a long way to kind of clear that out and just scrub those out to make sure that all those threads are nice and clean. It's gonna make it a lot easier for that hardware to go up. So now at this point with an extra set of hands, we're gonna raise this up in place and align the slots on the hitch up to those weld nuts and have a bolt handy. Each person should have one. And you're gonna have a conical tooth washer here and you'll see the little teeth. This is what's gonna bite into the middle of the hitch. So have this ready. And we're just gonna hand tighten one on each side. That way it's supporting itself and we can get the rest of the hardware up. So now that it's supported by itself, I'm gonna go back with the rest of the hardware and just put these in the remaining weld nuts. Once we have these hand tightened in, I'm gonna go back with a 22 millimeter socket and I'm gonna just zip these up to kind of raise the hitch up into place. Now I want it snug, but I'm not gonna go crazy with the impact because we're gonna go back with the torque wrench just to make sure that they're properly torqued down. But this is at least gonna get it up in place where we need it to be. So now we're gonna go back with that same 22 millimeter socket. And I have my torque wrench here, and this is gonna be an important step because it's gonna make sure that it's not too tight putting stress on the threads, but it's not gonna be too loose and have them come out over time. So if you need a torque wrench, we actually sell these here at E-Trailer. Generally, you can rent them at an auto parts store. So for our torque setting, I just checked the instruction manual and I'm using those torque settings. So now I'm just gonna re repeat that same torquing process on the rest of the hardware. So now all you need to do is get that spare tire back up and get the interior panels back in place. And then all that's left to do is actually use your hitch. And that was a look and installation of the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on a 2022 Acura MDX.